<laughs> I'm sorry. Is this a joke? <laughs> Where are the cameras, Jane? Because I swear I am being punked. You don't know what punk. Doesn't matter. No. I'm not going to do it. I am not going to lie to these people again. This one is on you. You know I've got a dog, don't you? She is an absolute stunner. You've probably seen her on my Instagram. Uh, she's a mongrel, but she's gorgeous anyway. She absolutely loves shit. Eating it rolling in it. That stuff is like Chanel number no. five to her. She has a particular penchant for fox feces as well, but not exclusively. Oh, no, 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 no. She'll go for other dogs' mess too, which is absolutely beyond me. Anyway, Jane, the reason I am telling you this is because the other Tuesday, the very same Tuesday that you asked that little favour of me, do you remember? Yeah, well, she did something that really topped off that shining gem of a week. We're at the park. I let her off. This is an unusual, she's a very loyal dog. She will always come back. And I thought this would be the most perfect time to sit down and read the final chapter of The Secret. The next thing I know, Cleopatra, that's her name, my brilliantly white dog is bounding back over to me, happy as Larry, coated in a brand new shade of brown. The closer she gets, the more pungent the smell, and by the time she's at my feet, I know exactly what it is. Human shit. How do I know it's human shit well, Jane? I've frequented many a festival toilet, and I don't know any foxes that eat sweet corn. Do you? So as I stand there in this park violently gagging, I think to myself, oh my God, trust me. Trust me to find not one, but two sentient beings that surround themselves with other people's shit and expect me to clear up the mess. Well, I I'm not having it. You think I don't see every man in this office climb that promotional ladder like they're in a zero gravity tank while I am stuck here in this swamp, sifting through the rubbish. Half of them are incompetent and the other half mediocre at best and we both know it. No, don't speak. This is my turn. I want a raise, a big one. I want what I deserve and anyway, uh, Cleopatra's got some dental work that isn't covered by the insurance. So yeah, I want what is right. And we both know you can't cope without me. What's the, what's the code for the safe, Jane? 170999, your wedding anniversary, have you forgotten that too? So yeah, I want a raise or I am walking out that door and you are never seeing me again. Uh, uh, but apart from um, Janet's leaving do because I, I promised I'd help with that.